This is a sand dune made of plastic. This plastic sand is coming from all around the Pacific Rim, swirling into a vortex that eventually brings it to these shores. The entire Pacific Ocean is circulating this debris. So there are many billions of particles circulating in this never-ending spiral that uh, you know, may never touch land and will just constantly be in the ocean until they're degraded to the point where they either um, sink to the bottom or they uh, become ingested by some creature. Here in the open ocean, graceful dolphins glide beneath the surface in pursuit of fish, their primary food. These fish, in turn, feed on minute, prolific creatures called zooplankton. These days, zooplankton share the surface waters with increasing numbers of minute plastic particles, posing a problem since fish and birds are now consuming plastic in addition to plankton. Since petroleum-based plastics are non-biodegradable, any plastic entering the ocean remains there, continually breaking into ever smaller pieces until it becomes ingested or is deposited on some distant shore. How far does it extend? It can't be too large. As a matter of fact, it extends from just off the coast of uh, California all the way to China. It's bigger than the continental United States. Charles Moore made the shocking discovery in 1997 by accident while sailing the Pacific. He's been collecting samples of the growing garbage patch ever since. Some samples contain six times more plastic than plankton. If you're a fish or a bird trying to determine what to eat, you've got a better chance of selecting something made out of plastic than you do real food. We create a lot of garbage. When our garbage is collected and carried away, it's tempting to think that it's gone. In reality, though, it has to go somewhere. We must do our part in protecting it um, for the future so that our children and our children's children would be able to enjoy it just as we have. You know, and so persons are encouraged to, to do their part in, in protecting the environment by all means, by making sure that their actions don't cause, contribute to the degradation of the environment, and that certainly that, you know, future generations can certainly enjoy it as well. Newspaper, plastic, glass bottles, paperback books, junk mail, cereal boxes, soup cans, and soda cans are all acceptable items. The biggest thing we do is, is we offer curbside pickup. Um, we found that making it as easy as we can for the residents gives us the best results. This small town is a big time player in recycling. Their attitude is to keep it simple. We've gone to a single stream recycling, so they only, everything that's recyclable goes into one can uh, and they just put it out at the curb right next to the, the trash barrel. Zero sort recycling impacts our environment in more ways than we realize. Because we don't have to separate our recyclables into different bins, we recycle more. We also need less truck units. 
That translates to less traffic, which everyone loves, and most importantly, less pollution, which reduces your carbon.